What's up guys, it's your girl Clinthia, and today I just got uploading a video on how to make fluffy slime without foaming hand soap or shaving cream. And if you watched the end of my video, we are doing this little challenge. And if I can keep that slime clean for a month, you guys have to subscribe and like for my videos. But if you're not interested, don't waste your time doing it. There's no point of me begging you if you're not interested. But if I can't, then you get to choose any video for me to do. I mean, any challenge. Or really anything. So, today we're going to be making slime without glue. We're going to be using Suave Kids 3-in-1. And I haven't even, like, I haven't used it yet. I just bought it today. I've only opened it to sniff it. Because it smells good. You will need a container. Have something to mix in. The swap gets three in one. And you will also need some salt. I didn't feel like going downstairs to get any salt. So I happen to have salt packets up here. I have five of them, but I don't think we're going to use them. And you will need something to mix in. I mean, something to mix with. So let's start by pouring in. Well, adding in how much you want. And I want that much because I've got a feeling that this is going to work. And then start by... adding some salt now this works for every like every video I watched it works and this is also clear slime guys so if you want it to turn out to be really clear then you might want it to sit for a couple days another thing is um, if this is if this does not work do not waste it you just buy some glue and any activator and just add this into the glue and activate the slime. It'll smell good and it won't be a waste. So once yours gets to the thickness that you want, you should be able to poke it and it shouldn't stick to you. But if it does, which mine does, you want to add more salt. And be aware if you add too much, it will, like, it will get watery. And I just watched a video on this, and she poured the whole bottle in. So that's two salt packets already. And you don't even need to put this in the fridge. Because this is Swap Kids, and Swap Kids is different. It smells so good. And like I mentioned in the last video, I said if this works... I'm going to be naming it Jolly Rancher, Watermelon Jolly Rancher. So that's the name of mine, and I hope you do not copy me. You can call yours Watermelon Airheads or Watermelon, uh, uh, just Watermelon. Anything but Watermelon Jolly Rancher. Watermelon Lifesavers. So it does poke, but it it like what's the word uh you can't really hear it so i'm adding some more because i want it to be a thick and i want to be able to like play with it like in the other videos oh guys this did work ew it's like you can't really pick it up you only can like you only can like poke it you can't really pick it up but this is what it looks like. It's really thick. Let me try to poke it. Yeah. If you hear noise in the background, my parents are watching a movie. And this is a pretty pink. So I'm going to actually let mine sit once I finish with this video and see if it turns out to be nice and clear in a couple days. I'm using one more salt packet. I'm not going to use the whole thing. I just want it to be a little more thicker. So like I said, be aware if you do add too much, it will start to get liquidy. And I don't know if you can add more shampoo to make it better or to fix it. There we go. So I'm going to pour mine out now. 
ill. But you can poke it. It is like night. It's gooey. I guess that's what you would say. It's supposed to be slime. I am actually happy with it, even though it doesn't look like slime. Well, it does, but it doesn't really feel like it. It feels like goo. I wouldn't think of slime as goo because goo is gooey and slime is pretty. Ooh, that rhymes. Oh, dude, that was too much, guys. We'll see. And I don't know if you could fix it if you add too much. I think you could add a little more shampoo. I mean, I think you I think you can add more swap kits. But you'll have to see if you mess it. So guys, that was the video. And this actually did work. See? It is a pretty pink. Like, it looks like lemonade. Pink lemonade. It's pokey. Let's see if you can hear this. I'm going to try to get it as quiet as I can. But you can't really, you see, when you try to pick it up, it's like, like of a watery texture, I guess you would say. So, if, don't really try to pick it up, guys. Or yours will not turn out right. Oh, no. Because if you try to pick it up, yours might just, like, melt in your hands, to be honest. I don't really know, but I wouldn't try to pick it up. But this is the first shampoo and salt idea I have ever tried. Well, I've tried a lot, but this is the only one that really worked. Um... But mine is still sticky, and she said if yours is still sticky, just keep adding salt. So I'm just going to go with her, because she has a lot of subscribers, and I guess she's a type of a professional. So I'm just going to go with her statement, and now my salt packet is getting all wet, and I can't even open it. Thank you. Ugh! Ew, it's so nasty. Hold up, guys. Me. Ugh. Let me go try to cut this. I'll be right back. Alright, so I cut it open. Well, actually, my mom did because it was a. Uh, my hands are too sticky. Ew. Alright, so now I'm mixing it. And I feel like the pink got darker. Alright, so if I add some more salt. Now. I'm just going with what she said. I'm not going to add too much. But she said if yours is still sticky, add more salt. And it's kind of like a jello looking kind of texture. But it smells really great. And if you can't even get scent and you want to make it like a watermelon slime, this would be great. Like, get any kind of shampoo that smells like the type of slime you're trying to make. And it was to smell like it. So let's say I'm trying to make a watermelon slime. And I don't have any scent. I can just use that to make it smell like that. And I actually do have a watermelon slime. Um, it's right about here. It looks orange, but it's it's red. It's a watermelon slime. And I could just add some of that to make it smell like one. watermelon. To make it smell like watermelon. So, guys, this is the end of the video. If yours worked out, comment down below um, just how yours turned out. And if it didn't work, tell me what you did wrong. Because I honestly didn't do anything wrong. I went exactly with what she said. And I wanted to try it out. Mine did work. It just probably needs more salt. But I can fix that um, at the end of this video when I'm not recording. But, guys, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up for at least trying and yeah, that's all that really matters. That's, that's all that really matters, at least you tried. So give this video a big thumbs up for trying. Comment down below what you did wrong or if yours worked and how it turned out. And get and make sure to subscribe to be part of Collegiate's Art and Craft. And the next video coming up um, is a surprise. Bye.